folks, I'm going to tell you five quick facts about black bull markets. Now, did you know, number one, they're New Zealand FMA regulated. Number two, did you know they have a copy trading service where you can either be a signal provider or copy signals? And number three, did you know they've got over 26,000 tradable assets, including Forex, crypto, stocks, indices, and even more? And number four, did you know they offer 500 to 1 leverage? And number five, if you open up an account today and trade one lot a month, they're going to give you TradingView Pro for free. Check them out, Black Ball Markets. Hello traders, how are you? Uh, my name's Tom, you've got me for the next, if you can hear a load of drilling by the way guys, we've got some work for the next door, so please bear with us, um, but yeah, I am all yours for the next uh, 45 minutes to 50 minutes guys, all right? Um, and yeah, those of you who don't know me, my name's Tom. I've been trading for about 15 years now. I'm a technical analyst. I've got my own channel, guys, called Simply Forex. You'll see that in the video title. Um, and yeah, like I say, I, I'm going to look at the charts for you today. You can ask me as many questions as you like. I am all yours for the next yeah 50 minutes or so. Right now, guys, we're potentially seeing a trade. Okay, if I get a break of out of this grey zone with Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, um, I will be entering this trade. So I'm going to put an alarm in here. Um, and yeah, we will be entering this trade if this alarm goes off, guys. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on that. That's a potential trade. But I talk, I'll talk you through my other potential trade ideas for today, guys. I'm trying to focus with all this drilling if you hear in Dubai that somebody has killed someone drilling, then you know who it is, guys. Yeah, it is me. Um, yeah, so apologies for all the noise, but we will carry on like true professionals. Um, so, yeah, let's first of all, let's see who is in the house. Don't be shy, guys. Come say hello. Um, so we've got uh, Visilu. I've probably pronounced that uh, wrong. Hi, how are you? CJ, how are you, mate? Um, CJ is a member of our VIP Discord and on our Discord channel. So hi, CJ. Um, I'm good apart from the drilling. I am going to kill somebody today, I think. Um, Calm IT, hi, how are you? I remember your name from last week. How are you? Jackie Burke, hi. So yeah, hi, guys. Um, welcome. Morris, how are you, Morris? Um, nice, nice to have a few hellos to start with. So first of all, guys, uh, before I kill the people who are drilling, I am going to take you through a few trades that I'm looking at, guys. And as I uh, said, guys, I'm looking at Canadian dollar Swiss franc. OK, so Canadian dollar Swiss franc was a trade idea for this morning. And why was it a trade idea? Well, let me explain, guys. All right. So first of all, we are at, if we start with the weekly chart, guys, if we start with the weekly chart, we are basically at the bottom of a very large range, yeah? If you look at this chart here, guys, yeah, we're at the bottom of a range, okay? And we are seeing some buyers come in at this level, okay? Um, if we drop down to the day chart now, you can see that we've had some buyers push off of this level. Yeah, you can clearly see that, guys. Um, and at this weekly level. And what I really like about this trade, guys, is this. So we were clearly in a downtrend, okay? Until we come down to this box of indecision. Yeah, you can see, basically, when we got here, guys, buyers and sellers didn't know who was going to win. All right. And why was that? Well, you had sellers on the day chart pushing it down and you also had weekly buyers. OK, so at this point you had, you know, buyers and sellers just fighting it out, guys. Yeah, just fighting it out. And it wasn't until we got this candle here that we actually had a winner. 
yeah, a winner out of this box of indecision. So as soon as we saw this green candle, guys, I'm, you know, I'm looking for potential longs. And now it's retraced into a very nice level here, guys. Yeah, what was once uh, resistance through here has now become support. All right. So, yeah, we're at a nice level as we speak to push off and potentially take price up to here. All I'm looking to do, guys, is take price to the next area of resistance. And as you can see, guys, this is the next area of resistance. Okay. If we drop down to the H4 now, you can see this level more clearly. Yeah, you can see this level through here. It's, it was once resistant. When it breaks and retests, it becomes good support. Okay. And all we're looking for, guys, is reasons to get into this trade at this level. All right. So let's look for some reasons, guys. So H4, you know, we don't really have any reasons to enter this trade. Yeah. Price is, you know, breaking down, if anything. All right. Um, but if we look at the H1 now, guys, again, there's no real reasons to enter this trade as yet. You know, even on the H1, price is clearly breaking down. Yeah. And, you know, it could potentially come back down to here, if not further, guys. Okay. So how what, what am I waiting for, guys? I, I'm waiting for a break in structure. So this, the chart is telling me that this is the new H1 lower high, yeah? And all I want to see, guys, is basically something like this. Price comes down. Perhaps it doesn't break this level. Maybe we get some sideways action, and then we get a break of this level, okay? Once we get a break of this level, I am interested in buying Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Okay, so we'll see what happens here, but that's what I'm waiting for, a break of structure. There's no bigger piece of confluence than a break of structure, yeah, to be quite frank. You know, it's the biggest piece of confluence you can have. It tells you that buyers are that strong that it's broken structure. So bearing that in mind, guys, um, yeah, that's what I'll be looking for. And I've just seen a question here, where will your stop be? Um, if you do enter this. So let's imagine this comes down, guys, yeah, and we get this kind of action and we get a break, okay? And we start buying in here, yeah? My stop would be below here, yeah? My stop would be here, all right? I'll give it a little bit of room below this level and my stop would be here, all right? And then, guys, I let that dictate my target, my first target. Yeah, as long as well as the chart. So as soon as price gets back up to here, yeah, I know we've got a risk to reward of one is to one, if not a little bit more. And I'm going to take some profit there, guys. All right. I'm going to take some profit here because I've got my one is to one. This area is telling you that it's an important area of resistance because price has reacted once before at this level okay so you know i will take 80 percent of the trade here and then i'll let some money run and if i take 80 percent, guys i can also re-enter the trade yeah i can get back into this you know later on as well let's say it breaks this level i get a retest i can re-enter the trade so take some profit where the charts tell you to yeah, and the chart is telling me to take some profit there. And that's exactly what I'll do, guys, with Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can see I've got my alarm in here and we'll keep an eye on that. Um, uh, yeah, and another good question. Yeah. So Matt Stanbridge says, do you look for the body to break uh, the area of? Yeah, and I do. Yeah. So, for example, guys, this is the level we're interested in. OK, if I get a candle that comes all the way out here, but the body closes back into this level, that is not a break of structure for me. Yeah, it's just not a break of structure because that wick is a rejection wick. If anything, that's telling me to sell it. OK, 
Now, imagine if we get a break of this level and then I get a candle like this. Yeah, we get a body of the candle, maybe a small wick here, small wick here. Then that is a break. That is a confirmation that we have had a break of this level. So, yes, I need to see the body of the candle break these last highs. If these are the last highs, yeah, they're looking like they are. So, yeah, good questions, guys, and that's what I need to see for a break. And like I say, enter here, take it up to here, take some profit, and then leave some profit to run. Um, so, yeah, that's exactly how I will trade Canadian dollar Swiss franc. And I apologize if you can hear some drilling, guys. Yeah, we've got it next door. It is driving me insane. It's not conducive to do a live stream, I must say. But we'll carry on, guys. Hopefully, you can hear me okay, and I will strangle some people who are dreaming later. Um, right, well, so, you're, um, so NABs, your thoughts on Euro, US dollar? Okay, we can take a look at that as well, NABs. That's exactly what we'll do now, because Euro, US dollar, if you are um, a subscriber to my channel, guys, you will know that... Euro US dollar is a trade idea for today, guys. Yeah, it's a trade idea that I'm looking. Do know it's meaning. Yeah, I'll tell you when Wix means something as well. So yeah, um, I give you my analysis every single day, guys. A Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, and Euro US dollar are two pairs that I'm looking at. Um, and if you would like to receive my trade ideas every day, then why not come join my channel, guys? Yeah. Um, the channel is called Simply Forex. You can see the title here, um, but it's also in the video title at Simply Forex. So if you like the way I analyze the charts and you would like to receive my trade ideas every day, then come join the channel, guys. We would love to have you. Um, right, Euro US dollar. Let's take a look. So yeah, this is a this is definitely a trade idea for today, guys. So let me explain why. Okay, so if we look at the day chart, okay, if we look at the day chart, you can clearly see, yeah, that price was in a downtrend, okay, and now it's in an uptrend, stroke range, okay, so we were seeing higher highs, yeah, higher lows, so we're in an uptrend, but it's kind of in an uptrend stroke range now. It's found itself in a range. And the range is pretty much from here to here. Yeah, you can see that, guys. And this sort of sums up really, you know, what the US dollar has been doing. It's, we, we, we're not sure if US dollar is still strong or there's some weakness coming into the US dollar. So, you know, this sums up the US dollar perfectly. But I am seeing some US dollar weakness come into the charts. So, if you think of this as the bottom of the range, yeah, this is the top, we've also had a nice bullish candle form at these lows. Yeah, we've had them form at these lows, so the idea would obviously be to take it back up to the top of the range, yeah? That's the trade idea, guys, okay? If we drop down to the H4 now, you can also see we've had a break in H4 structure as well. So, if we look at H4, it was in an uptrend, and then it comes storming down, and it was in a downtrend. This was the last high here, and then price has shot back up, and therefore we have broken this H4 trend as well. Okay, so all we're trying to do is get a bit of a retrace into this grey zone. Yeah, we see a bullish reaction, and then we take price back up to here. This will be my first target here. And then if not, back to the top of the range. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we're looking at. If we drop down to the lower time, uh, even one more lower time frame, let's drop down to the H1, guys. So what would we like to see? Yeah, I would like to see price potentially come back down to one of these levels. Yeah, the moving average 20 catches up with that level. And then we get a bullish reaction here. Yeah, and when I say a bullish reaction, guys, I'm looking for a bullish H1 and or H4 candle. Okay, so once we get that, guys, we can then enter and look to take price back up to here. With regards to my stop loss, guys, 
I would start my stop loss off down here, yeah? And then once the market shows that it, you know, that that was the last low, this bullish reaction, then I will move my stop loss from here to below here. All right, so that's how I'll play this trade, guys. Um, but yeah, definitely looking for Euro, US dollar buys at the moment. Okay, so yeah, let's see what happens in this grey zone and if we get that bullish reaction. If we don't, guys, and price just keeps breaking down, you know, then, you know, not interested. It raises alarm bells as to, you know, the trade idea. Maybe the trade idea wasn't good and I won't enter the trade, yeah? It's important that you have your criteria to enter a trade. If if this happens, I'll enter. If this happens, I'll enter. If this happens, I won't enter. You need to, you know, almost plan your trade. You need to know what you're going to do with a trade before you even do it. Because if you don't, you are just going to be impulsive. Yeah? Oh, it's, it's hit a level, I'll enter. Yeah, you, you're going to be impulsive. So plan what you want to do before you do it, guys, all right? That's very important. Um, so, yeah, Euro, US dollar is another trade idea for today. Um, okay, let's take another question. So, Matt Stanbridge says, do Wix mean anything? Yes, they do. Wix are super important. Yeah, super important. So, as I explained earlier, I need the body of a candle to break a um, to break a level of support and resistance. But just look at wicks. Yeah, if we look at just wicks, if you're with trend, they are very powerful. Yeah, look at this wick. Yeah, it meant buyers are in. Yeah, and it carried on up. Yeah, then price broke down. Yeah, look at this wick. Yeah, it drove price down. Okay, um, let's let's look. You know, look when when you see a wick, guys, it is a clear indicator that we are selling, yeah, or buying, depending on the trend. Okay, so price comes here. Look at the wick. Price comes down. Let's let's have a look at a different chart. Let's look at Euro US dollar. Let's look at the day chart. Okay, so um, yeah, let's look over here. Look, you get a wick. Yeah price pushes up you get a wick price pushes up you get a wick price pushes up pushes up so wicks are telling you there is rejection okay so if you get a wick like this guys yeah then obviously sellers are pushing this down there are sellers at this level here and they have rejected this level and push it down if you get wicks like this yeah, then obviously buyers are rejecting price. Yeah, if you this level here, buyers have really pushed this up and rejected price. So wicks are extremely important. Yeah, they give you, um, you know, they tell you firstly if buyers or sellers are in control and where price has been rejected. So yeah, wicks are very, very powerful. And then look at Euro Aussie dollar here, guys. So we start getting these bullish wicks yeah price comes back up but then we started to see these bearish wicks price comes shooting down yeah so loads of information in wicks and just loads of information in candlesticks full stop guys yeah my my entire trading is based on market structure and trend yeah if you if you the things I'm about to mention, guys, if you don't understand these things, stop trading immediately. Yeah, these are the these are the building blocks of any successful strategy and consistency. All right. So market structure and trend. You need to know if it's in an uptrend, a downtrend, if you're seeing a descending triangle, a head and shoulders pattern, an ascending triangle. You know, it's also chart patterns. You need to understand the structure of the market. Secondly, you need to be able to plot support and resistance accurately. Yeah. And then thirdly, you need to be able to understand what candlesticks are telling you. Yeah. If you don't understand what candlesticks are telling you, again, you know, it, stop trading. Yeah. You need to be able to read candlesticks. Yeah. This candlestick 
here is telling you sellers have rejected this price and it pushes price down. So, yeah, uh, very important. And also uh, this concept of value that I talk about. We need value in the market. Yeah, we need value for us to enter a trade. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking for, guys. Let me have a quick drink because I do a lot of talking. This is neat vodka in an Evian bottle. Yeah, and guys, don't be shy. Get your questions over to me. You can ask me. It doesn't have to be about um, technical analysis. It could be about money management. It could be about psychology. It could be a currency pair that you're in. It could be about stop losses, targets, anything you like, guys. Yeah, I'm all yours for the next 30 minutes or so we've got left. So fire away. Do not be shy. Um, right, what else are we looking at? Okay, so Matt Stan, what I mean, what well, does a candle with no wick mean anything? A solid candle body only. <clears throat> yes, it does. Every candlestick means something. Yeah, so every single one. So if we have a wick, yeah, this is telling me sellers are in control and we and we have a rejection. Sellers have pushed this down. Okay. If that's then followed by a candle like this, yeah, with no wicks, that is telling me that sellers are in complete control. Because you have to understand the candlestick, yeah? This is the opening price. This is the closing price. And all it's done is absolute sell. That's all it's done is selling, selling, selling. It hasn't done anything else. That entire candle is a selling candle. I think it's called a Marab Marabosa or a Marabusa, something like that. It has a name. Um, but yeah, and, and you know, it's telling you that sellers are in complete control here. Let's look for a few examples on the charts. Um, you know, you need to be with trends. But, but look at this candle. Yeah, look at this candle, guys. Okay? That is just super bearish. Yeah? And eventually, I know price, you know, messes around for a bit, but it comes crashing down. Yeah? And then we have another one. Yeah? Again, this is telling you sellers are in control. It never breaks this level. And again, it messes around a bit, but eventually sellers come in. So, yeah, they are very strong indicators to tell us who's in control. Here's another one, with, but this is in an uptrend. Yeah, look at this one, guys. Okay, so that is a super strong candle. Price continues up. This one as well, yeah, price continues up. So, yeah, every candlestick gives you information, guys, like literally every one. So do not ignore them. Ignore them at your peril. Um, sir, guide on trading psychology. Calm IT, that is a very general question. You know, so psychology covers a whole range of things, guys, when it comes to trading. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, the, the one thing about psychology, guys, is this. You need to be very, um, what's the right word? You need, you need to be disciplined and patient. Okay, And what brings discipline and patience is having a clear understanding of what you're going to do. When, when I trade, there aren't any gray areas. Like I said, you need to plan your trades before they even happen. And that's exactly what I've done, guys. Yeah, You know, today, if X, Y, Z happens, I will enter a trade. If this happens, I won't. And it all stems from good analysis and knowing what you're going to do and from that stems good habits and it stems calmness and discipline okay so that's the my my first hour in the morning where i do my analysis of 28 currency pairs etc that is my that's where all my good habits and everything stem from yeah and then now i have a plan for the day I can just trade it 
with discipline and patience because the trade the, the plan is in place and also it makes me very calm and serenity is a good word i would use to trade yeah i don't i don't get emotional i just trade my system um but it all stems from good habits and routine and knowing what what you're going to do ahead of time you know, I know it's difficult. You know, obviously, I, I do this full time. But, you know, I imagine some of you do this. Yeah. Some of you are have a full time job. And therefore, you're, you know, you're trying to work out trading whilst holding down a job. Yeah. I was there once before. Okay. And what you'll do, you'll be like, right, in your lunch hour or, or something or, or straight away after work, you'll jump on the charts and you'll be like, right, quick, I've only got an hour. Let's look at the chart. Uh, right, okay, yeah, okay, that, oh, that looks okay. I'll jump in, yeah? And, you know, that is what you should not do, yeah? Simple as that, guys. You shouldn't do that. You need to plan ahead, yeah? It, it's all about your analysis and planning beforehand, and that will lead to such good habits, yeah, it's such a simple thing, but it will lead to such good habits. Um, don't rush into things. Don't don't feel like you have to trade. Yeah, the bet the the you know think of yourself as a you know as a sniper. You're just going to pick your trades. You know as they appear when they turn up. If you miss one, no problem. Wait for the next one. Yeah, you need to have a very calm, serene, um, yeah, environment for you to trade successfully. So, yeah, um, I hope that helps calm IT. If anyone's got any more, you know, psychology is such a broad subject. If anyone's got any more specific questions, I'm happy to answer them as well, guys, as well. Um, let's take a quick look at, because CAD Swiss franc, okay, and uh, Euro US dollar are trade ideas for today. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to be really aggressive with this Canadian dollar Swiss franc trade, you could trade you know, a H, uh, an M15 structure break. This would be very aggressive. Um, let's also look at Euro, US dollar, guys, why we're at it, because these are the two trades that I'm looking at today. All right, so we've had a little bounce off of uh, this level here. Um, yeah, am I interested in this trade now? You know, potential, potentially, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this H1 candle, if we get a real bullish push off this grey zone, you know, I may well be interested. We shall see. Sorry, guys, I've just lost a live chat here. Oh, there you go. You're back. Um, okay, so they're the trades I'm looking at, guys. Um, what else are we looking at? So, IT. so how do you break down from bigger time frames to smaller time frames? Um, well, somebody give me somebody give me a currency pair to analyze. Okay. Somebody in the chat right now, you give me a currency pair to analyze, and then we'll do a top-down approach. I'll show you exactly how I do it. All right. Anyone, I'll wait for someone to put a currency pair in the chat. I will have a drink of neat vodka out of an Evian bottle. Okay, Calm IT would like pound US dollar cigar on the rocks. I'm thinking bourbon and cigars every time I see your name. And a nice comfy chair is what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so we've done euro US dollar cigar on the rocks. So let's look at pound US dollar. Okay, and we're going to do this together. Let's do it as one big happy family, guys. And before we do, like I say, if you enjoy my analysis and the way I look at the charts and would like to receive my trade ideas every day, then why not come join my channel, guys? <clears throat> you will see the name of my channel in the title of the video you are watching at Simply Forex. Okay, so come join us. Or you could also see it up here, guys. I'm circling it on my screen. Maybe you can't see it. Yes, you can. I'm circling it. Um, simply Forex. You will see my ugly mug on the screen. Come join us. Um, right, pound US dollar. Okay, so this is a, a nice level right now, actually. Yeah. Anyway, let's do a top-down approach. So... Yeah, on the weekly chart, 
yeah, on the weekly chart, guys, with pound US dollar, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Pound US dollar, would you buy, sell, or stay out of this market? Just looking at the weekly chart, yeah, would you buy, sell, or stay out of this market? Just pound US dollar weekly chart, just this chart that we're looking at. Everyone, guys, please give me your answers. Buy, sell, or stay out of the market. If nobody answers, this is going to be quite awkward. And we're all going to just sit here in silence. <laughs> okay, so Cigar on the Rocks would stay out. Car My T would sell. Miami Vibe Realtor. I bet you're selling some nice properties in Miami. Although I do hear it's having problems with rising water. Anyway, I digress. Um, sell, stay out, buy. Okay. Okay, so we've got stay out, sell, and we've got a buy. Yeah? So, you know, guys, if you were an indicator, which you can be yeah and basically you are the psychology of the market and you have told me to buy sell and stay out <laughs> do you know what i mean that goes to show how difficult this pair is to trade on the weekly chart because if we look at this guys we are in a downtrend yeah there's no dispute in that okay so i look for structure first of all so we are in a downtrend Okay, but you know, look at look at these look at these candles. You've got buyers, sellers. Okay, not so much sellers, but basically we, we will see this on the day chart. But we're finding ourselves in a bit of a range here. Yeah, there's not much happening in this zone. Okay, so we are in a downtrend, but we find ourselves in a range. Okay. So for me, I would stay out. Yeah, there's no clear direction here. Yeah, there's just no clear direction. Buyers are in control. No, they're not. Sellers, buyers, no sellers. I don't want to be in that crappy price action. You know, we don't know who's in control. Yeah, we don't know if buyers are in control or sellers are in control. And that, again, sums up the US dollar at the moment. Yeah, it does. So this is where we find ourselves. Um, also, let's look at the day chart. Okay, so looking at the day chart now, guys. Okay, would you buy, sell, or stay out of this market? Just the day chart, would you buy, sell, or stay out of the market? So everyone, pound US dollar day chart, um, buy, sell, or stay out. And if you think about it, guys, yeah, keep trading simple. I bet there's lots of you uh, who are listening in, guys. I bet you've got, you know, 300 indicators sitting on your charts. Yeah, and you, you know, and 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 things have just got overcomplicated. Keep trading simple. And if you think about it, you have three options. Ultimately, you have three options with any currency pair, any commodity, any indice. And they are buy, sell, or stay out. Yeah, that's it. If you break trading down, and if you can't find a reason to buy, don't buy it. If you can't find a good reason to sell, don't sell it. And therefore, you stay out of the market. Right. So everyone is stay out, stay out, stay out, still a buy for me, range, wait, which means stay out. So here, guys, yeah, if we, if we just follow trend. So at this point, we was potentially in an uptrend, but this was weekly resistance, okay? And now price has come down, okay? But we still find ourselves in an uptrend. 
because we have got higher highs and these lows still haven't broke. Okay, so I hear you. It is it is a range, but it's a range stroke uptrend. Yeah, if you look from here, higher highs and these lows haven't broke. Okay, so I know this is messy price action. I mean, it really is. But technically, we are in an uptrend. And that would suggest we could potentially buy it up to here. And, you know, it's, it's really a, it's a stay out, but almost a buy. Yeah, because, you know, look, look at this, you know, buyers, sellers, buyers, you know, what will happen here? Yeah, where we get sellers again. So if we get a break of this level, yeah, then potentially we've got some room up to here. You know, and bear in mind, this is the day chart. We've still got, you know, that's still 50 odd pips. Um, so let's drop down. But really, as we look at the day chart, that is a stay out. Again, there's not a real clear direction, but there are lots of buyers at this level. Yeah, that is true. That's that's not even that is fact. Yeah, buyers, 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 all at this level. Okay. Um, and that's basically what I do to start with, guys. We'll we'll go down to the lower time frame shortly, but basically I'm looking at daily and weekly, all right, to give me direction. So if you remember the weekly was in a downtrend stroke range and price action was just choppy. And then we looked at the day chart, which is potentially an uptrend, but also ranging and price price action in here is scruffy. So just looking at that, I would just go today, eh, eh, no trade on pound US dollar. Yeah, not interested. All right. And I would look at a different currency pair. Because, you know, if I if I ask you about a currency pair, yeah, imagine this, guys, yeah? I Well, not imagine this. We just did it, yeah? But if I ask you about a currency pair, which I've just done, and I ask you, would you buy it, sell it, or stay out? And some of you say buy it, some of you say sell it, some of you say stay out. Yeah? What's that telling me? That is telling me that it doesn't have clear direction. So why the hell would you trade it? Yeah, simple as that, guys. Look for pairs, which is why I look at 28 currency pairs. Look for pairs that have a clear price action. Yeah, candles are telling you to buy. Trend is telling you to buy. There's no support or resistance in the way. You know, buy those ones. Don't buy pound US dollar where there's lots of, you know, conflicting ideas. Okay. So um, I hope that makes sense. And then, you know, let's drop down to the lower time frames now. So I would say potentially, yeah, we, we could see a break, yeah, out of, because, yeah, because this is a daily level. Yeah, let's put this level in. If we get a break of this level, there's two ways we could trade this, aggressively and non aggressively and conservatively. So conservatively, I would wait for a break of this level because that was also a daily high. But if you look at it, guys, you know, it looks like this is building up. We're getting higher highs on the H4. So this is telling us that we could well see a break of this level. Conservatively, yeah, we wait, we get a break, price comes back, hits this level, we start buying and take it back up to these highs, okay? Okay. That would be a conservative trade. An aggressive trade would be this. Yeah, let's, let's drop down to the H1. We can clearly see there is a level through here. Yeah. What was once resistance? Yeah. Clear resistance. When it breaks, it becomes very good support. And this is what we're seeing currently with this H1 candle. So this could potentially be a trade. All right. 
But remember, this level still hasn't broke. But if you want to be aggressive, we see this bullish H1 candle here, and we could enter. How I would trade it would be this, yeah? I would, you know, it depends when this candle finishes. But, you know, we'll see then. I would enter here, put my stop below here. My first target would be here because we know this is big support, uh, big resistance. Yeah, look, it's reacted before. I would close 80% of my trade here. Okay, take some nice profit. Yeah, then what happens? If I take 80%, yeah, and price comes crashing down, then I'm still a happy trader. I've still made some nice money. Whereas if this happens, yeah, and I take 80%, but then it still pushes up, yeah, then I can enter again anyway. Yeah, say price comes back down to here, I can enter the remaining 80% that I closed. Enter another 80% of your normal trade size. Yeah, and then we can start buying it again. So don't be afraid to take profit and re-enter a trade, guys. Yeah, this is you know this is uh, it makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, you know when, when we see these levels, yeah, why wouldn't you take profit? Yeah, the market is telling you, is saying Tom, that is an area of resistance. So take some profit. And I say, thank you, Mr. Market or Mrs. Market. I will do exactly that. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't try, don't expect price just to push through this level. It might, but chances are you're going to see some sellers enter. All right. So, um, yeah, that, that's how I do a top down approach, guys. I keep it simple. I keep it binary. I keep it built on the building blocks of price action. Okay, so guys, learn, you know, my channel, guys, is all about learning the building blocks of what makes the charts move. And it's market structure, ch trend, chart patterns, support resistance, candlesticks, and this concept of value. So if you want to learn more about all of those things, guys, then come join my channel. Yes, yeah? Simply Forex. Uh, the name is in the title of the video you're currently watching. And you can also see it here, guys, on my screen. Simply Forex. Come join us. We would love to have you. We can see your beautiful faces. Um, yeah, so that's how I do a top-down approach, guys. And in H4, H1 are really just my entry time frames. I'm just finding levels, these gray zones, which, again, I give to you every day. Yeah, I'm looking for these levels to guide me and, and give me entries, okay? So it'll be really interesting to see what this pound US dollar does. Um, let's just take a quick look at, okay, so Euro US dollars bounce nicely off of there. And what else are we looking at? CAD Swiss franc. Okay, so we might be having a potential break here soon. Yeah, this might be a break here. So I might enter this trade with Canadian dollar Swiss franc. We'll see. We'll see. Um, right. Now let's take uh, a couple more questions, guys, because I'm almost out of time. So you've, uh, you've Rav said, is the session timings change? Yes, you've Rav. So I'm normally on an hour earlier, but because of the clocks going forward or back, I'm not sure in the UK, we wanted to make this, uh, this live stream in time for the London Open. So yes, it has changed. I'm now on an hour later. So this is the time now. This time, guys, I will be on for the next six months at this time. Um, right, what else are we looking at, guys? Um, t -t 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 -t. I'm sure there were some other questions up here. T -t 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 -t. No, there wasn't. I take it back, there are no other questions. Um, has anyone else got any other questions, guys? If not, we might just leave it there and call it a day. Um, let's leave it there, guys, right? Because I'm going to be looking at some trades and I need to spring into action like um, Schwarzenegger and Rambo. Yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, like I say, if you enjoy my analysis, come check out my channel and subscribe to my channel, Simply Forex. 
Uh, it's in the video title and on my screen here. Simply Forex. Come join us, guys. We'd love to have you. Also, guys, um, yeah, I'm here this time now. This is the time for this vid. Um, yeah, and have a great trading day, guys. Thanks for all your questions. Your questions are my fuel. Um, have a great trade. Crate. Get my teeth in. Have a great trading day, guys, and I'll catch up with you again soon. See you later.